Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop. We're doing technical stuff today, and I've got a technical problem to solve. My home network does not extend into the workshop. There's no Ethernet cable coming into this building whatsoever. There's no Wi-Fi capability in this building either. My home Wi-Fi doesn't quite stretch that far. But I want to be able to run my old notebook computer and have it connected to my home network whilst I'm here in the workshop. Now the options are I could run a cable, but that would have to go underground uh, to be safe, uh, and it's just not practical. I'm too old to dig holes like that anyway. I could extend my Wi-Fi by having a more powerful uh, transmitter, but I don't want to extend my Wi-Fi like that because it will be open to abuse from many more people. So I'm looking at a different solution, and this solution uses the Zysol Powerline Adapter, and this is the model 5205. Let me tell you how it works. Now the concept is terribly simple, and even I can understand it. Inside the box you get a pair of Powerline Adapters, and they're identical. They each have a plug molded into one side, and this can be plugged into an electricity socket in your house, in your office, or wherever. And obviously the design of this plug will vary according to the country in which these are sold. There are variations uh, that have a socket built in here so that you can continue to use the power from that wall socket for other purposes. Now it's set up like this. You plug one into a wall socket somewhere close to your home hub, your office hub, uh, your main switch or router. And then you connect it to that router or switch via an Ethernet cable from the port at the bottom here using the supplied cable. You then take the other one and take it to the room or office where you want to extend your Ethernet capability. And you plug it into a wall socket there. And you then use another supplied cable uh, to plug into the bottom of the adapter and then into the computer or device that you want to join your network. Now they get their power from the wall socket into which they are plugged and so that wall socket has to be turned on. And they're pretty frugal when it comes to power requirements. Each of these will take no more than four and a half watts when they're going flat out and they have a sleep mode when they go down to as little as half a watt. So they're very economical to use and very green and friendly. Now, once you've got them plugged in at both ends, uh, there's a little button on each of these and you press those buttons and that then makes the two of them talk to each other and they then establish a secure link between the two devices using the cabling either in your office or in your home. And the beauty is that that link is encrypted, so nobody can eavesdrop on the data that's going from one to the other and back again. Also in the box, apart from the two adapters and two Ethernet cables, there's a quick start guide, there's a warranty card, and there's also a CD which has got a complete manual on it, and also some little bits of software which you can do some very clever little tweaks if you want to use these in a special manner on your network. And I've also discovered by reading the manual that you can buy loads of these and have a number of them working on your network together or as little sub-networks on their own. Very clever. So I'm going to turn this on and you'll see the lights flicker. I'm going to press the button on the side to get it to link with the other gadget. Turn this on and I'm going to get it to link by pressing that and then having a little chat. You see that? They're doing the synchronization and I should be able to now access the internet. And there I am on the internet.
Now, these three indicators here, the top one is the one to do with power. If there's no light on whatsoever, then there's no power going to the adapter. If the light is blinking, then it means it's either starting up or it's uh, getting its uh, crypto synchronization with another device. When it's on all the time, then it's uh, receiving power and it's working. The middle light indicates the data rate. Now, if it's green, then it's up to 600 megabits per second. If it's amber, as it is now, then that is between 20 and 80 megabits per second. And if it goes red, then it is less than 20 megabits per second. But there is still data flowing. And when it's blinking, it means it's either sending or receiving data. If it's off altogether, then no other power line adapter has been found and there's no pairing, no data transfer. And the bottom one is the Ethernet. If it's on, then it's discovered an Ethernet port. If it's blinking, then it's communicating with that Ethernet port. And if it's off altogether, then it has not found a connection to the Ethernet port at, at all. Well, that's it. I'm on the Ethernet, connected to the home network, and I can now connect to the Internet, or more importantly, to my network storage, which is uh, vital when I'm making all these films. Now, there are a couple of things I need to point out. Uh, the first one is the range that Zeiss will state that these power line adapters should work. In their uh, instructions, they say that it can work up to 300 meters, and I don't doubt that. Uh, I'm afraid I've set it a bit of a challenge because the power for my workshop comes from the far side of my house. It's taken from the junction box over on that side. It then goes through another junction box. It then goes up through the attic of my house to another junction box where it is turned into armoured cabling, which then goes down, then underground, under the driveway to another junction box where it goes to normal cabling, and then to a distribution box, uh, which is just close to the camera uh, over there. So all in all, lots of junction boxes and so on. And that total distance is probably uh, less than 80 meters, and so well within the 300 that Zeiss will state. However, um, the uh, speed that I'm getting, indicated by this amber light here, is between 20 and 80 megabits per second. For me, that's more than enough. But these will work up to 600 megabits per second, uh, depending on the quality of the wiring and the distance. So I think 20 to 80 megabits per second over my fairly challenging wiring is pretty good. I've now connected the power line adapter uh, to a socket close to my TV and uh, this is a TV that doesn't have any other means of connecting other than by an Ethernet cable. I've got YouTube up and running and I've managed to find one of my films and it actually works. Now in the UK the 5205 kit costs about £77 including VAT. And if you're going to do some price comparisons, make sure you compare like for like. This is in the gigabit Ethernet class. It delivers up to 600 megabits per second. The links between pairs of adapters are fully encrypted, and you can have more than two adapters on any given network at the same time. Now, I know in my particular case, I'm not getting 600 megabits per second into the workshop, but we know why. It's because of all those junction boxes. But for me to lay a cable uh, into here, I would have to then make sure the cable was protected as it went either underground or overhead. I'd have to terminate the ends of the cable. And by the way, I've just looked up 100 meters of Cat5 cable, 92 pounds, 75 pence. So you can see this is a better solution for me. But on top of that, it's very flexible. Just supposing I'd laid a cable and terminated it here in this corner, what happens then if in a week's time I decide that I'm going to move my studio to the other side of the workshop or up above in the workshop? Well, with this, I just take the adapter out and plug it in somewhere else and it carries on working with no problem whatsoever. So this represents a 
portable, flexible, secure system, which is perfect for me. I can even take this with me if I go to a client's premises and I can set up my own little ad hoc Ethernet connection wherever I might be. So that's about it, really. These power line adapters are secure, they're inexpensive, and they're flexible. And frankly, for me, it was the cheapest option to extend my home network into my workshop. I recommend them. I think they're super. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.